welcome back another day another video and first of all good morning good afternoon and good evening wherever you are stay safe stay at home in front of me there is a pipe smartphone at the First one, uh, Poco Phone F1, XZ2, Poco X3 NFC. Still remember this one? Correct me. 10X, because the uh, power button, red color, Redmi 10X, 5G, Diamond City 820, and the last one. LG V50 10Q Snapdragon 732 Snapdragon 845 845 855 uh, Mid range This one also a mid range And this way Consider high end CPU Which one start first? Well Based on the CPU, the Geekbench performance. Why? What happened to this one? Five six three one seven is a uh, exact two. Four five nine. Wow. Poco F one. Wow. <laughs> five six three six three five. The multi core two five five seven. This diamond city, and it is higher than this uh, eight five five. Diamond city eight two zero. 855-2452 and actually this uh, 845 the normal score are around 556 five, something and 20 on 19 something if you increase the performance tune the CPU to performance, you may, may get around 2-3 something on this uh, multi-core on this POCO F1, this is the lowest score I'm using Android 12 Android 12 AEX LSB extension. This is the 12 icon. Right now it's 113. Do you get what it means? After the 12, Android 13. Android 12 is Android S. Okay, let's begin with the POCO F1 Okay, POCO F1 with the lowest score on the Geekbench Everything stock, no custom kernel Based on score, not based on CPU If based on CPU, the 732 should start uh, the setting not much can see on the setting how many FPS Poco F1 on this uh, Metroid Dread
Oh, sorry. Wrong game. I'm very, very sorry. It's not Metroid Trade. Let light bring her. This is the one. Metroid Dread. Same setting also. Paul's close. Come on, Poco F1. Android 12. <laughs> what happened? Come on, Poco. Ten times already I restart. Android 12. Not fully optimized. <laughs> you see this ROM? the power button if you want to off the phone let's say you push nothing how to off the phone Brr. okay next phone next XZ2 Metroid Dread Same setting. Poco, post close. This exact too very slippery at the end. Always pop up. put something that's sticky at the end of the see loading time really really slow something in between never mind Twenty-eight. Almost 30 FPS. This game uh, at 60 FPS. Okay. 
it's going to pop up. Okay, next one, POCO X3 NFC, this one the biggest one, <laughs> the tallest. On XZ2 almost 30, 25 to 28, 29 IPS, POCO F1 falls close. Most close. Right. Also post close. Cannot be. I already tested it before. It was okay. See the FPS running, that means it's putting. Try to load the first uh, shadows that it's loading now. See, compiling the shaders that's the worst part. Six gig of RAM. This Poco XZ 4 gig only. It's not because of the RAM. It's the processor, the CPU, the graphic. Snapdragon 732G. Based on the Geekbench, the score, this one are much higher than the XZ2. Biologic, it perform better than this XZ2. Let's see. The single core, the multi core, a uh, much higher score on this one. Okay, but come on, focus. That's not the case. <laughs> 19 APS. 17 APS, 20 APS. Why this uh, XZ2 Snapdragon F45 better than this 732? The CPU score, this one are higher, but the graphic are uh, Reno 630 versus 61. 
Main city at two zero. Using China weekly. Same setting. This is uh, an AMOLED display. Metroid Threat Diamond City at 2 The CPU score almost identical with the Snapdragon 855. Seven three two twenty APS at four five twenty eight twenty nine APS. How about Diamond City at 2 zero? Redmi 10 x 5G See the scanning line That's an AMOLED display Loading 20 FPS on POCO F3, almost 60 FPS this game. You can watch my video. Uh, a few days ago, I uploaded. Twenty eighteen FPS, same as Poco X3 NFC. Hmm. The CPU score are higher, but the graphic also higher. Why the FPS and post close? Why the FPS? And the performance are worse. Well, 
not optimized for MediaTek. The graphic, the CPU cannot read the instruction from this emulator. Second try, MediaTek. Diamond City at two zero. Second try. Diamond City at two zero. Let me take back. Now it's okay. Twenty four FPS. Twenty drop now. Nine FPS. Zero FPS. False close. Haha. MediaTek. Sorry. And the last one, SD at five five. LG V fifty. Setting are the same. Not using any driver. Well, I'm not hiding anything. If the game falls close, it falls close. This is the time it took to load the game. Actually, that depends on the CPU. Low end CPU, it took time to load the game. Better CPU, better time. What you see is what you get. The performance. Wow. I'm sleeping, waiting. FPS 42 Wow 45 See Snapdragon at 55 32 33 42 now 43 FPS This one can can jump over. Yes, <laughs> SD855. Wow, oh. the only device can jump that high. Mm -mm -mm. Unbelievable. Mm -mm. 60 FPS now. So 
one, one, two, three. Hop, nothing down here. SD at five five. LG B fifty. Not bad. Not bad. And I'm using a custom ROM. Uh, Evolution X. Oh yo. What was that thing? going up is that a spider speedy man spoidy well almost 30 minutes my fan already running Forty one degree. Power hungry. The emulator. Faster. Get up. Faster. It's LG B50, the winner. Okay, best on FPS for the game. Poco, not booting. 18, 19 FPS, Poco X3 NFC. Okay, sorry. Poco X3 it should be over here this one much better uh, Diamond City at 2 0 number 2 and XZ2 Snapdragon 8.5 if you look at the score which one are higher this one second lowest score based on the gig bands but on the emulator this score doesn't matter what's matter the graphic driver bear in mind once again thank you for watching stay tuned for the next video